guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be wrapping my last minute Christmas presents and I'm going to show you I have quite a bit of wrapping to do. So if you're watching this video and you're one of my family members, make sure that you click off of this video because I don't want to ruin anyone's surprise for Christmas. And, um, one I already wrapped, all Drew's presents are in this bag here and then I have, of course, I ended up buying Bryn a couple more things and I have presents for family. And then I have some wrapping supplies, a fleece blanket that I made. If you guys didn't see my video of DIY Christmas presents where I make this fleece blanket and these rice bags, make sure that you check it out. I will link it below and in the cards. And then I also have a couple presents that I need to add tissue paper to and wrap a couple things in. And here's my tissue paper and bag supply. Also, don't mind my living room if you see that in the background. Um, Bryn just destroyed that before Drew took her to the other room to play. And also, if you're watching this and you want some good toddler gift ideas, I do have a separate video that I made of all the presents that Bryn will be getting for Christmas. These two things were not included because I just got these the other day. My sister Lauren suggested that um, getting her some magnets would be a good idea. Ella loves them. And I think she's really going to enjoy these. She might have to grow into them, but she loves making the animal noises. And I think it'll be a fun activity that she can do on the fridge while I'm cooking. So I ended up getting her these. They were only um, $8, but she really didn't need another present. And then also my YouTube friend Amanda Little posted about this toy that she got for her daughter as a entertainment toy for the car. It has a little zipper on top and then it has buckles and little flaps that have pictures under them. And I just had to get this for Bryn for church because she cannot sit still during church. And I wanted to pull out a toy that she would maybe play with. She loves doing zippers. And I think she will grow into liking the buckles as well. Um, so I got this for her. And it was a little pricey. It was about, I think, $18 or $20. But I couldn't pass it up. And I had some reward points. So it was technically free. I didn't spend money on it. But still, I spent my reward points. Oh, and these chocolates are for me. These aren't a present. So I'm going to be splitting these up into whose gifts are whose, and then I will be wrapping them. This isn't supposed to be like a gift video where I give ideas. I'm just going to be wrapping. But I might talk about what I got throughout the video. And then we can't forget about all Drew's presents in here that I will be wrapping. He also got a Yeti cooler, which I will just be putting a bow on top, I think. But I do have a separate video as well for everything that I got for Drew, a men's gift guide video. So that will also be linked below and in the cards. And I hope you guys check that out. And then lastly, before I get started, I did wrap all of Bryn's stocking stuffers already. And I also wrapped and stuffed Drew's stocking. Bryn's is hanging up, so I'm going to wait to stuff that until Christmas night. So these have their own separate videos where I wrap all of those um, and I talk about what I got for Bryn's stocking. And then I also included this in the men's gift guide where I show what I got in Drew's stocking and then I wrap them at the end. So if that sounds interesting to you, I will link those below as well. And I forgot to pull this out to wrap, Bryn's basketball hoop. I don't think I'm going to be wrapping this just because it's kind of large. I think we're just going to take it out of the box and put a bow on it and put it by the tree for Christmas. Or maybe we'll bring it out after she opens her other presents since I don't want to distract her um, because she'll probably want to play with that right away. I'm not sure about that yet, but stay tuned for Christmas morning to see what we end up doing. So I think I'm going to start by just clearing off the table and wrapping one gift at a time so that way I have more space to work with and don't get overwhelmed.
Brynn's two presents wrapped, and I'll know that these are hers because of the wrapping paper that I used. And now I'm going to add some tissue paper to my sister's gift, and I think I'm going to wrap her two books, and then I will put them back in the bag so she has something to open. So she already knows she's getting this and I'm just keeping it in this little bag that it came in and I'm going to tuck it back in the gift bag and I'll just put her books behind it and then I'm going to put some tissue paper in. Now I'm going to do my mother-in-law's gift and Drew's aunt's gift. And I think I will use these two gift bags. And I'm just going to put their rice bag inside. And then my mother-in-law, I have another gift that's going to go in hers. So I'll do that now. And hers is done, and then I'm going to do Drew's aunt's gift. I think we're also going to get them something else, but we haven't picked it up yet. So once we do, I can just slip it in this gift bag. And now I'm gonna wrap my grandpa's present. It's just really small, so I'm just gonna wrap it um, in this wrapping paper. Which one you wrap it? This flashlight. my brother's gift for our siblings gift exchange and I think I'm going to wrap one of the presents and then maybe put them both into a gift bag because this Yeti is kind of hard to wrap but I want him to have something to open so maybe that's how I'll do it. I'm going to see how it turns out. wrapping of a family member's that's not Drew's and then I'm going to wrap all of my husband's gifts. So this is my sister-in-law's 
rice bag and I'm going to wrap it up in wrapping paper because I ran out of gift bags. So now I'm going to wrap Drew's presents. I have all the other presents wrapped and I'm just going to throw his grandpa's blanket into a gift bag. Let me see if it'll fit in this one. This. I think that's going to be too small. So I have to use this one. Yes, that'll be good. And then I will have to find some tissue paper to fill this with because I ran out of tissue paper. So now for Drew's presents, I have two boxes that I'll be able to put stuff in to wrap. So let me do that first. I got him um, this North Face jacket. And this is going to be kind of difficult to wrap because it's a hat, so it's kind of awkward. And maybe I could put it in a box.
So I'm so relieved to have all of my presents wrapped. This isn't all of them. I also have some under the tree. Don't mind the mess out here. But I have a bunch of presents under the tree and I have some in the other room still. Now it feels extremely real that Christmas is a couple days away and I'm so excited. So this is a couple days later that I'm picking the camera back up to finish out this vlog because my friend is coming over today, Ashley, and we are going to be making salt dough ornaments. So I wanted to close the video out with this because I figured this would fit good in this video. So when she gets here, we're going to vlog a little bit of us making the ornaments. Do you want them? Hi, can you say hi? <laughs> are you playing with your friend? Can you say Merry Christmas? <laughs> she knows already. Are you saying hi? That's so nice. Careful. Be nice. Be gentle. Aww. You love Charlie. Brynn's gonna do. Okay, ready? One, two, three! Wow. That actually went pretty good. Good job! Good job. Now Brynn's gonna have to do one. Yeah. Can you Are wait? you gonna do your handprint? Yes. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay, can we do it? Ready? Okay, ready? Here. Let's put it right here. Whoa! Whoa. There we go! Good job! She's looking at your hand. Yay! Good job! You, you guys all made one. You did it! And there's little Charlie. Whoa, Look at Charlie. Do you say hi? Whoa. Is it cool? <laughs> it's baby land around here. <laughs> This is the final product and I have not yet wrote on it with a marker because I don't have one here so I need to get one. 
But Ashley also brought over this ribbon to put around it for the string to hang them. So we have a little ornament. And I'm not sure how good they turned out. I, I don't know. They look like they're still raw in the back, but I baked them for three hours, so I don't know what's going on. Let me know if this is going to rot. I'm not sure, but otherwise, it's very cute. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.